Okay, let us have solving exponential equations. We'll have to use this one-to-one -one property of exponential functions. So that means to say if uh, the two y values are equal, then the corresponding x values are also equal because of the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions. Meaning to say, if we will solve an exponential equation like this, what we're going to do is uh, we will just uh, write both sides of the equation as powers of the same base and they are equal uh, these two are equal will give us two uh, exponents or the exponents are also equal for example solve 8 raised to x plus 1 equals 32 so we have to write this as uh, uh, the left and the right side, uh, we should write them with the same base. So we have to know 8 is a power of what? At the same time, 32. 8 and 32 are powers of 2. We can write 8 as 2 cubed, while 32 as 2 raised to 5. And then using the properties of exponents, we, if, we have, uh, if we are raising a power to another exponent, we will just multiply these two exponents. So we will have 2 raised to 3 times x plus 1 equals 2 raised to 5. And then 3 times x plus 1 will give you 3 times x is 3x. And then 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, and then using the one-to-one -one property of functions, these two exponential ex uh, expressions are equal if their exponents are equal. That is, 3x plus 3 is equal to 5. And then adding negative 3 to both sides of the equation, we will have 3x left here on the left. And then 5 minus 3 is 2. And then dividing both sides by 3, we will have x equals 2 thirds. So the value of x that, that, that will satisfy this equation is 2 thirds. Another example, solve 27 raised to x minus 1 equals 9 raised to x. So we need to identify 27 and 9 are powers of what number? They are powers of 3. 27 is 3 cubed while 9 is 3 squared. So we will have... We will write this 27 as 3 cubed. Copy x minus 1. 9 is 3 squared. Copy x. So using again the properties of exponents, we will just multiply 3 times x minus 1 and then 2 times x. And we will get 3x minus 3 for the exponent here on the left and 2x on the right. And using the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions, these two exponential expressions are equal uh, will give us exponents also equal. That means to say 3x minus 3 is also equal to 2x. And then if we will transfer 2 here, uh, 2x here on the left, it's going to be negative 2x. If you will transfer negative 3 to the right, it's going to be positive 3. And then 3x minus 2x is x. So x equals 3. So the value of x that will satisfy this given exponential equation is x equals 3. Okay, we can verify that. And then this one, uh, these three tables, I am uh, um, giving you the usual numbers that are found in solving exponential equations and later on on uh, inequalities. So these are squares of numbers from 1 to 20. So 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, and so on, up to 20 squared equals 400. So sometimes you will see these numbers, 121, 144, 169, 196, and so on. So they are squares of these numbers. The common cubes also are used like this. A cube of 1 is 1, a cube of 2 is 8, a cube of 3 is 27, cube of 4 is 64, and so on, up to the cube of 10, which is 
1000. So uh, familiarizing yourselves with these numbers will give you an advantage in uh, uh, quickly solving exponential equations and later on exponential inequalities. Okay, let's proceed. Let's have some more problems. I mean some more items. Solve one-fifth raised to x equals 125 raised to x minus 4. So we will write them as powers of 5. One-fifth is actually 5 raised to negative 1. Okay, that's 5 raised to negative 1. Okay, using the properties of exponents. Okay, if you want to put it on the numerator, you have to change the sign of the exponent. So that's going to be 5 raised to negative 1 raised to x equals 125 is 5 cubed. Raised to x minus 4, so just multiply the exponents. Negative 1 times x, that's negative x. So 5 raised to negative x on the left and on the right, 3 times x minus 4 is 3x minus 12. Don't forget to distribute the 3 here. Okay? And then, equal exponential ex expressions will give us equal, uh, with the same base, will give us equal exponents also. That means negative x is equal to 3x minus 12. And then adding negative 3x to both sides of the equation, you will have negative x minus 3x equals negative 12 on the right side. And then negative x minus 3x is negative 4x. And then dividing both sides by negative 4, you will get x equals 3. So x equals 3 is the value of x that will make this exponential equation true. So x equals 3 is the solution. Number 4, 2 sevenths raised to 2x equals 49 fourths. Okay, so we will write them as powers of 2 sevenths. And 49 fourths, if it's just uh, 4 over 49, that's going to be 2 sevenths squared. But uh, we have here, we uh, interchange the numerator and denominator, so it has to be negative 2 here. This is using the properties of exponents. Okay? And then, so uh, these two uh, exponential expressions are equal, will give us uh, 2x equals negative 2. And dividing both sides by 2, we will get x equals negative 1. So x equals negative 1 is the solution. Number 5. Solve 36 raised to 3 minus x equals 1 over 216 raised to x. So we can use here base 6. Okay, 36 is 6 squared and 1, uh, 1 over 216 is 6 raised to negative 3. So replace 36 with 6 squared. Copy 3 minus x. 1 over 216 is 6 raised to negative 3. Copy x. And then, applying the loss of exponents, we will multiply this. So, 2 times 3 will give us 6. And then, 2 times negative x will give us negative 2x. And then, on the right side, negative 3 times x is negative 3x on the exponent. And then, this will give us, using the one-to-one -one property of exponential functions, this will give us 6 minus 2x equals negative 3x. And then, solving this linear equation, we will have, if we will put negative 3x on the left, it's going to be positive 3x. If we will put 6 on the right, it's going to be negative 6. And 3x minus 2x is x, so x equals negative 6. So x equals negative 6 is the solution. So it's just important uh, for you to identify the base, uh, to identify that these are uh, powers of 6. And of course, it will also be helpful if you already mastered the loss of exponents because we are applying the loss of exponents here. Okay, so that's it for solving exponential equations. 
just don't forget to write them with the same base okay if you have already written them uh, with the same base you can just equate the exponents and solve for the unknown okay so that ends our um, presentation on solving exponential equations so after this you will again have practice exercises for you to achieve your fat brain so fat math tv is here for you for you to have fat brain so happy solving and good luck